Informal or ad hoc romanizations of Cyrillic have been in use since the early days of electronic communications, starting from early email and bulletin board systems. Their use faded with the advances in the Russian Internet that made support of Cyrillic script standard, but resurfaced with the proliferation of instant messaging, SMS and mobile phone messaging in Russia. Development Due to its informal character, there was neither a well-established standard nor a common name. In the early days of email, the humorous term, Volepic encoding, Russian, Volepic, or Volepic, Kodorovka Volepiak was sometimes used, more recently the term, translate emerged to indiscriminately refer to both programs that transliterate Cyrillic and other non-Latin alphabets into Latin, as well as the result of such transliteration. The word is an abbreviation of the term transliteration, and most probably its usage originated in several places. An example of early translate is the DOS program Translate by Jan Labanowski, which runs from the command prompt to convert a Cyrillic file to a Latin one using a specified transliteration table. There are two basic varieties of romanization of Russian, transliterations and leetspeak type of rendering of Russian text. The latter one is often heavily saturated with common English words, which are often much shorter than the corresponding Russian ones, and is sometimes referred to as Runglish or Russellish. Translate Translate is a method of encoding Cyrillic letters with Latin ones. The term is derived from transliteration, the system of replacing letters of one alphabet with letters of another. Translate found its way into web forums, chats, messengers, emails, MMORPGs and other network games. Some Cyrillic web sites had a translate version for cases of encoding problems. As computer and network technologies developed support for the Cyrillic script, translate fell into disrepute. Sometimes translate users were ignored or even banned in Cyrillic using communities. Translate received its last development impulse with the increasing availability of mobile phones in Cyrillic using countries. At first, the situation was the same as with computers, neither mobile phones nor mobile network operators supported Cyrillic. Although mobile phone technology now supports Unicode including all variants of Cyrillic alphabets, a single SMS in Unicode is limited to 70 characters, whereas a Latinate SMS can have up to 160 characters. If a message exceeds the character limit, it is split into multiple parts. That makes messages written in Cyrillic more expensive. Sometimes Y, U, Yo, Yi, Ya serve as transliteration for J. U -E -E. Lately a more aggressive form of translate appeared, its identifying characteristic being the use of numbers to substitute some of the letters. For example, 4 reads as CH and is used to translate letter C from the transliteration of the word for in Russian chetire", chetire or, arguably, the appearance of the letter similar to that of four in Arabic numerals. Also, a number can substitute its whole name as part of a word. Sov7 for Sovasem completely or Pasmo3 for Posmatri. Have a look. Imperative. Such translate is often so distorted that native speakers have trouble reading it. The use of translate is forbidden on many Internet forums. Russia and other former Soviet republics adopted the ISO 9 transliteration standard for official use under the designation 7.79 2000, replacing the old Soviet GOST 16876 71. Translate in Bulgaria A modified version of translate, called Shliokavitsa or Mimunitsa is used widely on the Internet in Bulgaria. It is similar to Russian translate, except for the following differences it can be transliterated as a, u and y and rarely as one a is usually transliterated as q, but ya and ia can be seen c is transliterated as either 4 or ch c is transliterated as either ts or c Z is transliterated as J, sometimes V. U is transliterated as either U, U or U. J is transliterated as either I, Y or J. 
S is transliterated as 6 or shish. V is mostly transliterated as V, but W has been seen due to the placement of the letter on the Bulgarian traditional phonetic keyboard. S is transliterated as SHT. Topic: <laughs> Volepic encoding. For the language, see Volepic, Volepic encoding, Russian, Kodorovka, Volepic, Kodorovka, Volepic, or Latinica. Latinica is a slang term for rendering the letters of the Cyrillic script with Latin ones. Unlike translit, in which characters are replaced to sound the same, in Volepic characters can be replaced to look or sound the same. Topic: <inaudible> Etymology. <inaudible> <inaudible> The name Volepic encoding comes from the constructed language Volepic, for two reasons. Cyrillic text written in this way looks strange and often funny, just as a Volepic language text may appear. At the same time, the word, Volepic, 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 Volepic in Russian itself sounds funny to Russian ears, so the name stuck. The term was popularized by its use in the first Soviet commercially available UUCP and TCP, IP network, RELCOM a typical networking software package included Cyrillic KOI-8 to Volepic transcoding utilities called Toval and Fromval, originally implemented by Vadim Antonov, making it the likely origin of the usage of Volepic as applied to Cyrillic encoding. History. Volepic and translate have been in use since the early days of the Internet to write email messages and other texts in Russian where the support of Cyrillic fonts was limited, either the sender did not have a keyboard with Cyrillic letters or the receiver did not necessarily have Cyrillic screen fonts. In the early days, the situation was aggravated by a number of mutually incompatible computer encodings for the Cyrillic script, so that the sender and receiver were not guaranteed to have the same one. Also, the 7-bit character encoding of the early days was an additional hindrance. Some Russian email providers even included Volepic encoding in the list of available options for the emails routed abroad, e.g. MIME, BASE 64, MIME, Quoted Printable, Volepic, UENCODE. By the late 90s, the encoding problem had been almost completely resolved, due to increasing support from software manufacturers and Internet service providers. Volepic still maintains a level of use for SMS text messages, because it is possible to fit more characters in a Latinized SMS message than a Unicode one. It is also used in computer games that do not allow Cyrillic text in chat, particularly Counter-Strike. Rules <inaudible> 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 Volepic often replaces Cyrillic letters with Latin ones in order to look the same or at least similar as typed or handwritten Cyrillic letters. Replace the same letters a, e, k, m, t, o. Capitalize when necessary for closer resemblance k, k better than k, m, m better than m, t, t better than t, which looks exactly like m in handwritten Cyrillic. Replace similar looking letters, VB, GR, handwritten resemblance, Z3, LJ, or, the last is again handwritten resemblance, NNPN, handwritten resemblance, RP, SC, UY, HX, C4, AR, IN. This may vary. Replace all other non obvious hard to represent characters using LEET, any combination of Latin letters, numbers, or punctuation that might bear a passing resemblance to the Cyrillic letter in question. There are many options for each letter. For example, letter S can be encoded in more than 15 different ways. Examples, Z asterisk, SLLI underscore, A and so on. The choice for each letter depends on the preferences of the individual user, encoding depends on the language as well. For example, Ukrainian users have their own traditions, distinct from the Russian ones. Table. Topic Example Sovetsky Su Cyrillic Soviet Union Kobetku Cobalt three hypoiodite Volepic Sovetsky Soyuz transliteration 
Topic: <laughs> Russian Chat Alphabet. The Russian chat alphabet is a fast-to-type mix of translate and volepic, being translate mostly, but giving the option to replace some two- or three-character transliterations with shorter one-character counterparts from volepic. This speeds up typing, however, in some cases characters may be volepic encoded, making text appear incorrectly and therefore be harder or impossible to read. In Russia and countries where Russian is used regularly to communicate via mobile phone and chat room, it is used as an alternate and free style of transliteration. It also works around the limitations of programs and or devices where a Cyrillic keyboard is not available. Within Russia, one reason to use transliteration for Russian text is that mobile characters allow for more Latin characters than Cyrillic ones per SMS. Latin and capital Greek letters are covered by the GSM 7 bit alphabet, allowing up to 160 such characters in a message, while Cyrillic letters are not, requiring a 16 bit encoding that limits messages to 70 characters. In this case, the focus is of course on getting one Latin character of which there are 26 for each Cyrillic character of which there are 33 in Russian, and additional characters in Ukrainian and other languages using Cyrillic script. Only those used for Russian are exemplified here. Where variants are given, the first is most common and the last is less common, although trends change quickly and differ from person to person. Lack of standardization is the biggest weakness of this informal transliterations, as different styles contradict each other and can make reading slower than necessary. See also Transliteration Russian chat alphabet Romanization of Russian Arabic chat alphabet Romanization of Ukrainian Faux Cyrillic, the reverse, e.g. Mojibake Greeklish <laughs>